Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the Hogwarts student dorm rooms in free roam for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. On the right, you can see all the collectibles we obtain in this video. Four red bricks, 13 character tokens, five students in peril, and six gold bricks. You can see that you actually need a character from each of the four uh, different dorms. So we already have Gryffindor because of Harry Potter and Hermione. And anyways, we do need a Slytherin, a Ravenclaw, and also a Hufflepuff. So once you have all those characters, you can see we have some suggestions for you by the character icons at the beginning screen there. Uh, go ahead and roll out. Now one thing you might notice too is that we are labeling each of these rooms. We're actually using a map that was created by a nice gentleman by the name of Radiant Viper. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use this map as a basic uh, where to, how to. Right now we're making our way to the moving staircase tower. It's important that we make our way there and uh, slide on through that back door, which takes us to the dorm room. So there is a link down below in the video description to actually show you the map that we are using as a reference. And uh, we hope you find it uh, easily understandable. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Otherwise, uh, check it, check it out. We also have links that should take you to Ravenclaw, Huff and Puff, Gryffindor, and Slytherin if you're in a hurry to just get to one specific dorm room. So look below in the video description. It'll give you all the collectible links, all the dorm room links, and also links to uh, other things, social pages, our website, yada, yada. So, all right, on the far end of the door room, dorm room hallway, there is a door. You have to open the door and then... Uh, drink the potion and basically fool yourself into thinking you're somebody else. So drink the potion and turn yourself into a Ravenclaw member. In our case, we selected Moaning Myrtle and we slid in the door. And as soon as we got in the door, there was actually a gate on the left hand side that we needed to bust open with, I believe, Reducto is what it was. Uh, build the pieces that come about and you will get the first character token. So we are off and running and actual collectibles now. It did take us a half a second to get from where we started to where we ended. But, uh, oh, to the, yeah. One little common note, too, that you will need the character to get into the dorm rooms. Once you get into the dorm, you just saw there, I got access granted by presenting myself as Moaning Myrtle. So uh, you will need those to get in. Once you're in, there's actually uh, a upper level and a lower level. On the upper level, there is a chest. Go ahead and smack it. A Quidditch ball will come out and eventually will kick down with the second character token. So, oh, to the, yeah, we're moving fast, people. We're moving fast. Next is going to be a red brick. This one, there's going to be a handful of pieces down below on the lower level uh, that actually are just kind of flat bricks, and they should have uh, some glowing Wingardium Leviosa around them, so a little purple circle. You can see not all of them are flat. There are two that are kind of like a rock-like piece. They create a head is what we're going for here. So there should be uh, the body, the wings, a head, two pieces of the head, and then I, I don't know if I'd call it a tail or the secondary wings, but once you get them all down there, you have to target kind of the body there. Hit the body, it'll raise up and fly away. Ka -ka -ka -ka! And then it poops out a red brick. So make sure you bring some hand sanitizer for that because I can't imagine that's clean. But uh, drop it like it's hot on the owl, he'll fly out, and guess what? You now have access to the Hogwarts crest detector. We're not going to use that because we're your Hogwarts crest detector. All right. All right. So here we go. We're still on the bottom floor. There are five total books that we need to put on the bookshelf and then smack away. The first two are on the bottom right, and you have to use Wingardium Leviosa to put them on the shelf and then zap them with your wand. The, the third one's on the left. The next two are actually in the dorm room bedroom. So make your way through the doorway like you saw me there. And there's a series of beds, and on the second and fourth bed... If you're starting on the left-hand side of the room, you will find the last two books. These ones, you just need to raise the roof or raise the bed and then give a smack and then bammo, gold brick. Oh, yeah. It's awesome, right? Jump around for joy, get some studs, and we'll move on to the next item here, which happens to be on the first bed on the far left. Go ahead and zap the top off and then do what every parent has always told their kids not to do. Jump for joy on the bed. Wee. All right. Moving along, let's go ahead and turn that frown upside down and save this student in peril by zapping the chain on the ground there. Wraps up the book that was chasing him around. And booyah kashaw! Guess what, peeps? Ravenclaw is now officially done. So that was pretty quick and easy. I know a lot of you guys are kind of wondering how he's going to put all these together. I'm not sure I'm putting them together in the best way possible. But uh, all these dorm rooms seem like they were best suited clumped together. Rather than like four different videos, one for each, you know. 
So, anyways, uh, we're making our way back out, and we're just simply running all the way out till we get to the hallway again, and then we're gonna slide into the next little area, which happens to be the Hufflepuff. So, now that we're out, though, we need to go ahead and drink our juice. Now, a little important factor here. I used my second character to switch to, so that means that I only had one original character. I've got Moaning Myrtle, which I don't need anymore. So I guess what I'm trying to say in an easier way here is make sure that you're not switching all of your characters to different dorm room characters. You just want one character that you switch back and forth. I shouldn't have Myrtle with me right now. I should only have Finch, not Myrtle, and I should have Hermione or Ron or somebody else. So, all right, we're inside. Once you get inside, right off the bat, hop inside the cabinet, grab the earmuffs. We're going to use this mandrake to go ahead and bust three different glass cases right here. Once you get all three, it kicks down with Mr. Longbottom, which uh, he kind of broke the internet the other day. Apparently, he's all buff now. Got a six-pack abs and lots of muscles. And I don't know if J.K. Rowling knew how to handle the uh, awesome buffness that Longbottom is now. He was always such a nerd in the movies. Anyways, all right. So we got that character token. Once you put the Mandrake inside the pot, you might have noticed we just got a student in peril too. I'm a little behind on the commentary and I apologize for that. But essentially you just put the Mandrake in the pot and the student hops out. Now in the back corner here, you do need to have your Raven, or sorry, your Hufflepuff character. My bad, we're done with Ravenclaw. And uh, once you get access, you go inside. Right off the bat, you see this silver lock on a chest. Go ahead and bust it open. Take that cake with Wingardium Leviosa and put it into the painting right above the chest. And booyah kashow, gold brick number two can now be yours too. All right, make your way up. There's all these yellow couches up here. Uh, double snare, tentacle-like things holding it. There's also a Venus flytrap. Zap that Venus flytrap and save the next student in peril. Look at that. We just turned a couple of frowns upside down. We're saving people all over the place. Now, uh, up here, there's a handful of studs, nothing real important other than that student in peril up there, so you can milk the studs if you want, but we're just going to go ahead and roll out. There's a painting on the left side of the room in the lower area. Go ahead and zap it. She'll drop another cake. I don't know what's up with all this cake and pie, but go ahead and uh, zap the cake once it drops, and you'll get another character token. Pretty easy stuff, really. Uh, I hopped in and grabbed some earmuffs because that's the stylish thing to wear these days. And uh, at this point, I actually, here, full disclosure, I was not exactly sure how to get the secret bedrooms open here. So, uh, truth be told, I zap this plant over and over and over again. It rains a bunch of studs. I keep thinking that if I hit the right color or the right one, it's going to open the secret door. But fact is, right there on the right-hand side, there is that tall candlestick. And uh, we're going to use Wingardium Leviosa on it to basically pull the lever, and it'll open the secret door here. So... Uh, ready? Here we go. There we go. We pulled it, and now it opens up right under the stairway. Gives us access to another Mandrake, which, good thing I have those earmuffs on, because now I can pick him up without any worry, bring him over to this little pot over here. By putting him in this pot, it actually opens up the secret entrance to the bedroom. So, uh, kind of a tricky way to put him in there. I came from the side, as you saw, and sneak on into the bedrooms, and guess what? Soon as you come in here, there is a chest right at the door. It's kind of dark and hard to see, but bust it open, build the pieces open, and guess what? We got a radio. We're not only going to dance our hearts out, but we're going to get the Hufflepuff girl, too. Woot, woot. All right, right in the middle, bust open the potted flower plant. It's going to erupt into, like, 15 different flowers. Blast them all. I know it takes a second, but uh, go ahead and cha 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 them all. And uh, once you blow them up, you're actually going to get rewarded with the next red brick. So that's pretty handy, huh? And what do we got? What do we got? What is it? Is it important? Do we care? Ye nope, it's Christmas. Actually, we care about Christmas, but we don't. The red brick, Christmas red brick. Come on, we don't really need Santa hats on. All right. Uh, now next, there is a series of beds. We're going to knock them around and get a whole bunch of studdage. And truth be told, we're done, though, for Hufflepuff. So we're rolling out. And uh, we're going to make our way all the way back out to the dorm room hallway again. If you want to get some studdage on your way out, you're welcome to, of course. And now that we're out here, we're going to go ahead and go into Gryffindor. Now, we don't need to use the Polyjuice Potion at all because we are who we need to be. So... Oh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and slide into Gryffindor. And we, this is a familiar sight. We've been in here before. Uh, over on the left-hand side, I accidentally zapped the kid on the couch. It's important to note that now you need to zap him again to free the student in peril. But I was just trying to get behind the couch to that Gryffindor boy character token. So um, you do definitely need to zap 
the guy off the couch and then zap him again to free him. And I'm going to do that here in just a second. See, I was, I was a little confused. I was like, wait a minute. Student on... What? What's going on here? I don't understand. There's a student apparel. What? But I figured out right here. Blammo. So... Go ahead and give him the old chiropractic shock there. Twist him back into place, and he will go ahead and kick us down with a student apparel. If you click the quick link, you do need to zap him off the couch first. And I uh, just had to repeat that, just in case you used the quick link to get here and didn't know. All right, we're just zapping everything in sight. Next, we're going to slide on into the back bedrooms here. Uh, this one, there are four beds. Each has a top. You need to blow the roof off them and uh, just do that by simply zapping them with your wand. And uh, once all of them are up in the air, you should be rewarded with a gold brick. So that's very nice. We'll go ahead and keep bouncing. Now, there are a couple of chests in here. One is on the far right side of the room. We're going to go ahead and zap that real quickly and grab the character token from inside that. Next, there is a, another chest on the left side of the room. This one has a little flower potted plant on it. Use Wingardium Leviosa to get it off. Oh, and check that out. Inside is a red brick. Who? It's a red brick. All right. Fall rescue. That's a cool one. I don't know if it's an important one, but certainly worth having in the long run. Now, one more chest in here, and it's in the back middle. You're going to go ahead and zap that, and a bunch of pieces are going to fall out. Use Wingardium Leviosa to build it up into the tower. Now, remember earlier I was saying we shouldn't switch both characters? You should have left Hermione or Ron or somebody. I said Hermione for a reason because you actually need her to do the old time turner here. So we, rather than waste your time, we went ahead and used the Polyjuice Potion to drink and get her. Um, so it's important. So I, I, really, you didn't need Harry. You just needed Hermione. And uh, once you're in the time turner version, you can go ahead and zap the treasure chest on the far left, and it'll give you another character token. And now we're in the middle here, and we're going to go ahead and... Bust open that treasure chest. Now, we're going to jump in it in just a second because there's a gold brick inside. But I actually zapped the right treasure chest on accident. So I went ahead and picked that up as well. So character token on the right chest, gold brick inside the left chest. So keep in mind, that's the same chest that gave you the time turner pieces a minute ago. But now that we're in the time turner version, it's different. So, all right, once you get the gold brick, hop on out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and <laughs> we're going to bounce on the beds a little bit longer. And I did notice that for some reason they change colors when you zap them. Uh, but anyways, we're out of there. Uh, it, I was a little confused on like how to get out of time turner mode. But essentially, all you have to do is leave the Gryffindor dorm room. And you should be good. So we're back in the dorm hallway now. And oh, to the yeah, we're going to use Moaning Myrtle to go ahead and fly over to the cauldron one more time. And sip on that scissor up a little bit more. This time we need a Slytherin character. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and use Professor. Professor Snape. Uh, not only because he's Slytherin, but he's also dark magic and can do pretty much anything that like Harry can. So the only thing he can't do, I think, is the cloak. I could be wrong on that, but you guys will tell me if I am. So, All right, Slytherin is the far left dorm room in the hallway. We're going to go ahead and drop into the entrance here. Inside the entrance, there are four silver bricks. Go ahead and bust those open. And inside, you'll find a handful of bouncy bricks that we can build up into a strong chain. Now, here we are again. We needed a strong character. So my bad on the preparation for this. This free roam is a little bit difficult, as you guys all know. But go back to the Polyjuice. Get your strong character. And when you come back here, you're going to go ahead and pull not one, but both chains. It'll fill up the pond in the middle here with water. And it'll actually give you a little fountain to jump on. And you can jump up and get Rita Skeeter. That's right. I said Rita Skeeter. All right, now, once you're all done in the entrance here, you're going to use your Slytherin character to go ahead and wave at the icon indicated at the bottom there. And if you have a Slytherin character, you can get your way inside. As soon as you're inside, zap the, the big frame on the left-hand side right up above you there, and it'll drop a little box. Go ahead and zap that box, and guess what? Character token 12's inside! All right, now character token 13 is right here as well. We're going to go ahead and find five of these little green lamps. They're all in this area. You do not have to go into another room. However, you do have to slide into the right side of the room. So there's kind of a hard one to miss. It's up on this upper left shelf here. We go ahead and zap that one first. And the fourth one's in the back left corner. And the final one's in the far right corner. Once you get all of them, the character token will appear in the middle of the area here. And uh, we go ahead and build up the old uh, xylophone or whatever it's called. Not a xylophone. Uh, you know what it is. Xylophone. We already played that in, the in one of the other levels. Dragons. Uh, anyways. All right. So we grab the character token. And guess what? 
we are ready to roll down into the bedrooms. But the game won't let us until the save's done saving. So, all right, we're down in here. As soon as we get in here, you see right off the bat, there is this bookcase hiding the student. We're going to go ahead and turn that frown upside down by knocking the bookcase down. So, da 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 we saved him. Whee! And uh, now, okay, so things get a little weird right now. I'm just going to let you know right now. Keep in mind, we're in a Slytherin dorm room. On the right-hand side of the room, there is a just a red brick sitting there. That's probably the easiest red brick we've come across yet. And you know what? It's actually a handy brick because it's the score multiplier. So four times. That's added to our two times. Once we turn that on, we'll have eight times, which is awesome. All right, now make your way to the back of the room. There are these two beds with kind of covers over them. Zap them both. A bunch of bits will break down. And then all of a sudden, it's like sauna party. Everyone jumps into the pool in their skibbies. All right. I guess that's how Slytherin rolls. Now I said it got weird. It's getting weirder. On the right-hand side, there's another bed. We reveal that behind the bed, there is a picture of Harry Potter. Why is there a picture of Harry? Oh, it all makes sense now. I thought there was some shenanigans going on there, but it turns out he just wants to throw darts at Harry's face. Totally understandable and acceptable for that matter, too. All right, so... We have made our way all the way in and out of all of the dorm rooms. We do have a few more studs we can grab. There's a couple of poiples over here. <laughs> Third time's the charm, right, ladies and gents? Hopefully. All right. And then I tried to get that other one, and I just said, bag it. I was tired, tired of wasting your time. So we're, we're basically done with the video. There's no more collectibles um, except for one in the hallway. So all the dorms are done one more left in the hallway, and it's found by simply knocking all five of the flags. There's these five flags hanging in the hallway here. Uh, two of them are for Gryffindor. One of them's for Slytherin. One of them's for Hufflepuff. And the final one is right there in front of Ravenclaw. So you guys probably found those all on your own, but guess what? If you didn't, hopefully we brought some light to that gold brick, and uh, you've added it to your collection now. So... That being said, we got uh, all the character tokens, we got all the red bricks, all the gold bricks, and all five of the student perils too. Hopefully you guys can make some use out of the map that was provided by Radiant Viper over at xboxachievements.com. Uh, link for that's down below, and uh, it will really help you get around, and we suggest printing off a copy of your own, and then checking off the areas as you go along with us, so... Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, or simply want to get involved in the conversation, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. We have uh, Instagram, G+, and Twitch accounts. Also, happythumbsgaming.com, which is where that map is posted. Again, links for all this stuff and the, uh, the different collectibles are all down in the video description. So please utilize those. We take a lot of time to put those links there so that you guys can bounce around and get exactly what you need when you need it. So... As always, that's it for me, so until next time...